Hello, Internet. I am Udo ADHD. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I talk about whatever I want to talk about. Usually it's about my mental health, but lately I've just been into tea. We're going to talk about Logan Paul's response. We're going to briefly talk about this lady, Mysterious T. Haven't talked about her in a while, but let's get into Logan Paul's apology. Clay is not a criminal. I called him. I apologized. Uh, my initial response to his coffee right Zilla is not a criminal. I called him. I apologized. Uh, my initial response to his series was that of of, of fire, uh, an ego flare, whatever. So first and foremost, he did not post this on his YouTube channel. This was posted on his Twitter. You get a ding for that. Um, but kudos to it rescinding what you said about CoffeeZilla for admitting that your response was hasty, was egotistical, was defensive. But if you wanted this to be a top tier apology, you should have put it on your main YouTube channel. Whatever it is, pride. I'm a fighter at heart and uh, I was defensive because I know I never scammed anyone with this project. I never made any money, never sold any tokens, and I only had the best intentions going in. Um, but the fact is the suing CoffeeZilla is not going to help CryptoZoo holders, so I do need to focus my attention where it should be, which is on fans and supporters of me. You guys mean the world to me, so I'd like to announce my three-step plan moving forward. Step one. So this is, another, oop, this is another thing. Oh, by the way, this is a small channel. So if you want us to know that you are a part of the tribe, leave a comment below so we can say hi. If you vibe, subscribe. Thank you. So um, this is something that I think the critics of Logan Paul need to remember. Because y'all are really praying for his downfall. You are. And I don't blame you. But here's two truths. Two truths that you have to accept. Number one, nobody cares about crypto scams. Unfortunately, when I say no one, I'm talking about sponsors, uh, brand deals, um, you know, all that stuff. Bank loans, whatever, bank lenders. They don't care about crypto scam. Why? I don't know. I do not know. It seems like everybody can crypto scam and just get away with it. And that's I had to I had to accept that fact because I was just pulling my hair out. <laughs> I was pulling my hair out with, about these influencers crypto scamming and it just it doesn't matter. So that's truth number one. Truth number two is a uh, Logan Paul's career did not tank. His fans have been with him through thick and thin. They have been through him with other scams. So they're not going to leave him because of this one, especially not a crypto scam. They're not going to leave him. And now that he's going to, this apology, actually, I think it's pretty good for, for somebody who's a fan of Logan Paul. They will eat this apology up. They're not leaving him. And crypto's not, uh, crypto, Logan Paul's net worth is not going to, um, his ability to earn is not going to go down because of the scandal. So I, I feel like when you're listening to people give their commentary on this dude, or if you have commentary on him, you got to accept those two things in order to give like a true commentary. Because I just, I don't know, it's just my pet peeve when I keep hearing commentary like this guy's career is just so over. And I'm like, let's think rationally here. Like, Let's get outside of our feelings and let's think rationally. <laughs> His career is not over. And it's a good thing he made this apology because what this apology will do, it's not going to turn any haters to be on his side, which is what I was, that would be the best case scenario. But it will reduce the hate if he follows through on this apology. Let's listen to more. Earn our zoo tokens so we have no financial upside in the game and it will add value to holder tokens step two uh we so step one is he's getting rid of his tokens um so that increases trust that increases that he can't scam anymore he's not he likely won't attempt to scam and um he's not doing this for a large financial benefit so that increases trustworthiness and increases the value of the tokens that people already have. That's a great step one. We want to offer a rewards program 
for players who are disappointed in the status of the game. So essentially you're gonna be able to burn your, your base egg uh, or your base animal for the mint price, which was 0.1 ETH or the equivalent in BNB. I am personally committing a thousand ETH to this, which is about $1.3 million um, right now for players who want to get out. And then step three, so step two is essentially any player who wants a refund can get a refund. <sighs> That's fantastic. That is what we've been asking for. That's what we've been asking for. Um, yeah, he said a lot of jargon in there. So that it, let's just listen to step three. Obviously, finish and deliver the game as outlined in the white paper by completing the uh, egg bridge from ETH to BSC for base animals and base eggs, completing the marketplace and, and obviously completing the releasing your animals into the wild to accrue your yield function. To say I am. So basically, he's going to complete the game, which I know some people just feel like, why even bother? It's for his fans. You have to understand the reason why Logan Paul remains on top is because. He is taking care of his fans. He's thinking about his fans. This messaging is to his fans. And this apology is to his fans. And his fans were excited for a game. So to remedy this situation of being exposed for the crypto scam, he's going to finish the game to appease the fans. His fans will be happy. If he follows through with this three-step process, I couldn't ask for better, given that he actually follows through and there's no dumb, crazy loopholes. He did say a lot of jargon, so I don't blame people for being skeptical, and it is Logan Paul, so I don't blame people who probably feel like this three-step plan isn't even ever going to happen, but only time will tell. I'm just saying that this is for the fans, and this is good for his fans, and I'm very glad that he's putting this plan together. I'm disappointed in how this was handled internally is an understatement. Um, there's a full internal investigation going on along with an audit, and we are going to pursue full legal action for whomever needs to be held accountable. So the, the biggest issue I have with the apologies so far, um, other than him not putting it on his actual YouTube channel, is that he's still doing this thing where he's denying that he tried to scam anybody. He said it in the beginning of the video. And, you know, this little thing that he's saying is nice, but it's also continuing to imply that he didn't try to scam anyone. I know it's to his best legal interest to not address those receipts Coffeezilla had that show that Logan Paul was indeed attempting and planning and conspiring to scam. It is in his best legal interest to act like that doesn't exist. But to make this a top tier apology, you needed to shut up about that. And he really believes he didn't scam anyone, which is a problem. He still believes he didn't scam anyone. If he believes that what he attempted to do does not count as a scam, it makes me feel he is still liable to do that again at some point in the future. So this is not good enough for someone like me, okay? This is not good enough to make someone like me trust Logan Paul when it comes to crypto, never, never. You still don't believe that you conspiring to scam is a scam. So that's a problem, okay? But I am not his target demographic. Like I said, Logan Paul just needs to make his fans feel good so people like me who are critical of him and would never have bought in the first place from logan paul we don't matter all this will do is kind of make us shut up for a little bit if any money is recovered in the process it'll go right to the community my sole obligation is to my supporters and um, i know this video is long overdue here it is i'm sorry guys I so bam his fans are happy that's it a plan and 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 an I am sorry. He his fans are good. His fans are Gucci, y'all. His fans are Gucci, and I'm I'm glad. I'm happy for them, and I'm happy for Logan for handling this in the most logical way. This is the most logical way that he could do it, given the critiques I've already given. But good job for that. I I, I apologize um, 
for, for how this has unfolded thus far. And I want people to know that they can trust me and that I'll always take care of the fans and people who support me. Uh, I appreciate your guys' patience while we do our internal investigation, and I promise to be transparent and disclose any information we find out in the process. And lastly, thank you, CoffeeZilla. Um, you have catalyzed this, and I am very... That's a little one. I actually really love that. That little admission that CoffeeZilla is the reason you're finally addressing this. Don't even play. Don't play like you were going to do this all. This was a plan all along after 1.5 years. Yeah, it's because of CoffeeZilla that you're getting your act together. So, I, you know, I did That's I, you know, I'm eating this part up right now. Very grateful for your work and your investigation. And I mean that. Thank you, bro. Okay, great. Fantastic. I think that's the best that we could have gotten out of Logan Paul. So good job, Logan Paul. I still have my doubts that I already mentioned and people still have their doubts. But what this will do is it will... It will help the haters. It will make the haters hate less. And definitely the fans are happy. And what more could Logan Paul ask for? What Really, what more could he ask for? And we are happy that at least his fans are going to get something given he does it. Now, if he doesn't come through on this plan, um, the hate he will get, if a year goes by and this plan isn't in effect, he's going to get what he got this new year times 10 times 10 and i hope by then he's done a lot of personal growth and therapy to handle that storm coming but for now this is quite nice this is quite nice let's revel in the nicety let's revel in it let's enjoy the day that the lord has made um <laughs> and when coffee zilla makes his response I likely won't make a video about it because there is nothing my pretty face will do to improve or add to a CoffeeZilla video. <laughs> CoffeeZilla's video is going to be great. So um, I will just, maybe I'll just post in my community tab, CoffeeZilla posted and we can all just watch it together um, in spirit. So speaking of tea, let's talk about Mysterious Tea really quick. And I'm talking about her again. I haven't talked to her, talking about her in a long time, nor have I been involved in any Trisha Paytas drama. I know she's in current drama right now. But um, I notice with my channel, I tend to notice things early. Like when it comes to this, 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 when it comes to these people who, they claim to expose people, right? And I noticed that, when you claim to expose people and it's people that people already didn't like, you can gain a cult following. Um, but I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not fooled by that. I'm not distracted by that. I don't, I don't want to defend you just because you made a good video. Like that's not enough for me to not question you when I see something questionable okay and so I just post what I feel on YouTube just talk about what I feel you know I've been cr criticized for not having enough receipts or whatever and it's like well this is just what I feel I don't have time to look up receipts I'm just telling you the story of what I feel and I told the story of what I feel about mysterious tea if you don't know who she is, she made an expose about Trisha Paytas. And um, the first thing that I had a problem with was the way she was talking about SA. I was championing this channel, but the way she was talking about SA was problematic. And when I and other people confronted her about it, she doubled down on very harmful, uh, seedless grape culture type of rhetoric I I have to say seedless grape because you know what I mean um she doubled down on it and that that I just I was like okay you're probably not you're probably not who I thought you were um people got on to me from making that video and I just felt like well, she already has a cult following hmm. um then I was showed some receipts of her um, condoning other seedless grape culture type things, um, and lying and hypocrisy and, 
Um, I just kind of canceled this person from my mind. Um, because I just, how can I, I can't enjoy any other expose video you have knowing that when people bring up questionable things that you have done and expose questionable things that you have done like a year, a year or one, two years ago, or questionable things that you have defended, you behave exactly the same way as Trisha Paytas. Like I just, I, I can't, I just, it makes my brain itch. So I have not been looking at this at all, but, and the, the last, the last couple of people I've, t I've done this about other people, other people who expose, but something was just not right. And when I confront them about it, they double down and it feels like something is very, very off. And if you're not going to address it and you're going to double down on it, all I can say is what I have to see on my channel and just delete you from my brain. And then what happens is a couple years later, people are like, oh, here are the receipts we should have known all along. And every now and then I get tagged in the video like, oh, I watched this girl's video. And, and then when I started looking and everything was, was true. And like, so because I know that that is just the trend that happens. That's just what happens. So I'm doing this again. <laughs> I'm posting about Mysterious Tea again because it's been, there has been receipts brought to my attention. And I don't know, maybe in another year or two, um, somebody will have seen this video and these receipts will have helped them to, um, to figure out whatever they need to figure out. So this live stream that she did two months ago, it features at the 39 minute mark, somebody confronting her about lying about someone named Morgan. Morgan was involved in the whole drama, Trisha Exposé drama. About when Morgan made her tweet. Why did you lie um, about when Morgan made her tweets? Why did you erase dates on Morgan's tweets? I did. Okay, she, she, she responds in the way that she always responds. Um, however, there are receipts. Uh, this this subreddit frenemies three i know people come on this subreddit it, it's not just people who are h3 fans but it's also it's like a whole hodgepodge i believe i think it's people who are h3 fans h3 haters trisha paytas fans trisha paytas haters so you get a whole different types of perspectives on the subreddit but people are sharing their thoughts people are sharing uh whole receipts uh people are sharing receipts more receipts more receipts more receipts more receipts and basically about all of the things i said that i that i found questionable and dis honestly disturbing about mysterious t and then some, um, I'm not interested in like diving deep into this again. I'm not, <laughs> but I want to just bring this to the YouTube ether because somebody out there is still digging into this. Somebody out there Maybe it, what often happens is somebody who was a fan of the person I talked about, the, that person just takes things one step too far and they start questioning their loyalty to, to this person and then my video pops up. So for anybody who's in that category, I will have links to these receipts. Hey, I don't know. Maybe, maybe people can debunk them. I would love for somebody to debunk, <laughs> to debunk these things, you know, but, um, I'm just going to leave these in the description box for now. 
Um, so thank you to that person who sent these to my DM. I know they felt um, they could reach out to me because I'm not, it's not very many people calling this creator out. I already called them out. I already said my, my thoughts. I'm not interested in keeping up with whatever new stuff has been going on, but, um, it just came to my attention, especially now that Trisha Paytas is again in some kind of drama. Ciao. Something, something else going on with Trisha Paytas. You, you Trisha Paytas will always get a check. I don't know if y'all know this. <laughs> Trisha Paytas. Oh, just like Logan Paul will always get a check. Um, a lot of people think Logan Paul's losing money. He this prime juice thing that he's doing with KSI is flying off the shelves in the UK. Logan Paul is making money. OK, similarly, Trisha Paytas, what there Trisha Paytas has super fans and super haters. OK. When you have both of those things, the paycheck doesn't stop. The money continues. I don't care. Like people saying she broke. Maybe she broke. I know she doesn't manage her money well at all. She don't manage her money well at all, child. But the, the money is still there to be made. The money is still there to be made. Y'all are paying this woman's rent in her whatever $10 million house mansion. You're paying her mortgage forever. Forever. <laughs> oh man it's crazy okay so i think that's all i have to say we talked about logan paul um i talked about some old tea with mysterious tea for those who are inclined to know um and for those of you who are mysterious tea fans like you really really like her and um i notice when i talk about somebody a youtuber or an influencer that people really love, like you put your faith in, you really like them, right? Because I lost, I lost, I don't know. I lost like two, I don't know. I saw two subscribers who told me they unsubscribed because I don't like Trisha Paytas or I don't care about her anymore. And I know I lost, I know two subscribers who unsubscribed back because I said mysterious T lied about this is hypocritical on this. Like they had an issue with me doing that. So I just want to say like, I'm not, this is not a personal attack. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to say this. I am not saying these things to hurt your feelings. <laughs> I'm not saying these things to to get revenge or or I'm not saying these things maliciously I'm saying these things because I believe in them and I just when something is just wrong to me I just have to I just have to I just have to say something I just can't not say something which is why I fully intended I really, really wanted to make a video about the a vision board <laughs> for the new year. And I've just been talking about this Logan Paul thing because I just felt like his response was so wrong. And then he made this new response. And, my, and one of my pet peeves with YouTubers is when they comment about like a drama and then the drama has a significant update and they never update. They never update. I'm like, I want to know what you think. <laughs> Please post again. So anyway, like I said, we're a small channel. So it's not even that big of a deal. Truly, this is just the kind of channel that you stumbled upon. And if you vibed, you subscribe. So appreciate those of you who, who did. Um, if you stay to the end, let us know in the comments because you were a real one. This is probably the shortest video I've made in a really long time, but I got to go work out. Until next time, y'all. Much love. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>